Welcome back, 0K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow 363 with a match between Exist and Silent Shadow. Neither of these players are familiar to me. Their names are completely unknown, but I might as well, I figure I should be casting more games of newer and or at least less well-known players. Players don't play 1v1 very much because that might encourage people to do so, or just hey, I'm casting your game. You're on YouTube. You're not really internet famous because not a lot of people watch my stuff, but. Hey, for the hundred people who do, y your name is now better known. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. It's gonna be an iced coffee. So we have Exist starting out with the Jump Bot Factory, north side of the map, and Silent Shadow is starting out with a Metal Extractor. Well, okay, it's not entirely unexpected, 1200 LO, but yeah. He is not plopping his factory, that would be a thing to do. Probably plays other spring games, that's my guess. Given his startup, I'm guessing he's probably playing either BA or maybe Nada? I don't know. Anyway, interesting to see what comes up from that. And Pyro coming up from Exist. That is going to be a quick jump onto the main area. And quick attack from there. Another, okay, Freakers are coming in afterwards. Exist is just going for a very quick half raid, half scout. So Pyros are really Pyros are quite powerful, so just for the raid, that's that's still quite a bit of push in. That that pyro is kind of like three bandits or three, more like three glaives, in terms of the amount of cost. So he has to make some cost. He has to make some. He has to make this worth it. Scythe coming up from Silent Shadow, having gone Cloakybot Factory, going for Scythe and then going for Rectors at, or Conjurers rather afterwards. This pyro is going to be dealing quite a bit of damage though. Jumping on to the base and there it goes. Getting in here, it's going to be able to get rid of pretty much everything. Silent Shadow has not much here defending against this. He does have a Terraform Defender, which I'm not sure exactly why, but okay. He has that. And the Pyro gonna be able to take care of everything. Getting actually no! Getting torn apart by Silent Shadow's commander's laser. Only Silent Shadow only loses a bit of his energy and one metal extractor. At this stage in the game, not the biggest loss. And there is a scythe out here. I don't know if Silent Shadow is gonna use that right now, though. He probably should. But he's that or get another one and use that. However, rebuild his metal extractor and probably gonna build more. Getting more wind generators and okay, wind generators are the best idea on this map. That is the thing to point out. That is you want to do that in this map, that's what I'm saying. Silent Shadow must be a player of other spring games, because he clearly knows, or at least he's acting like he knows, that wind generators are a great idea when you're dealing with that much elevation difference. And on the other hand, exists going for the solar collectors, which are twice as expensive. It's worth pointing out, solar collectors are Double the cost as wind generators, and on a map like this, wind generators are actually more worth it for the most part. I don't know if the wind gets below plus one, but I don't think it does. Oh yeah, Floris is pointing out that Exist is a friend of Daywalker and an old Balanced Annihilation player. Not sure who Silent Shadow is though, that still doesn't answer that question. But thank you Floris for answering the question about the other player. And Scythe coming in around the back from the looks of it, it's... Actually, gonna be scouted up from looks at this Freaker is gonna run into it. Although, admittedly, on the other hand, it's gonna run into the Freaker, kill the Freaker, kill all the Metal Extractor expansions, but that probably isn't what Silent Shadow was going for. Let's see, no, he is trying to avoid that Freaker. No, never mind, he is going for it. He's gonna attack, and that is going to be, well, one Freaker down, but at the same time, what is Silent Shadow doing to respond to this? He is getting another Pyro. He has a couple of these, actually. It's two of these in play, one of them under construction, and this Scythe. Well, now it's been exposed. Ex Exist knows Silent Shadow's going for the Scythe. He doesn't know that Silent Shadow has some army in his main base, but the Scythe is up. Not bad low displacement. Any jumping coming in is going to be preempted. Any attacks from the back, however, are not... Oh, there we go. Lotus is for that. Might be, a, might be a little bit too much. I'm not entirely sure. I think that might be a bit excessive. But hey, that is going to be defended. The Pyros are going to have a hard time getting in there. That's just That's going to work that way. And it looks like that's exactly what Exist is going to try to do. And the Scythe is coming around the back. Silent Shadow is going to be able to get rid of this Pyro. Well, maybe. Scythe deal 200 damage a shot. No, it's not like getting rid of the Pyro right away. He has to be careful about it, but the point... The important thing is, he is scouting this out. He knows what's going on, and... Now we have a fight going in the center of the map. This Defender going down, another Defender being built up, and a Pyro coming in to help defend. But this Warrior, not in the best position to deal with the Pyro, and four Pyros coming behind it. That is not going to work out too well. This warrior is in terrible position to fight the pyro. 
It can deal a bit of damage here, but that's four pyros against one warrior. Not going to work out. The Scythe, however, at the same time. Silent Shadow moving that Scythe towards Exist base, and is he going to attack? Nope, just scouting out. He wants to know what Exist is up to, and he has good vision of that. Now he's going for it. Going to get rid of one of these metal-like tractors. Exist hasn't even upgraded its commander yet, so it's just a little pea shooter to deal with that Scythe. Scythe can deal with most of these defenses, but it's not going to... Is he going to get rid of it? No, it does not have the chance to get rid of that. At the same time, Pyro coming in around the back. Three Pyros went... All the Pyros went down, though. Enough Warriors in place to deal with it. Another Pyro is going to be marching to its death. That's not going to work out too well. No, Pyro, retreat! The Pyro has retreated. Okay, the Pyro is safe. That Pyro is fine. Exist is actually a little bit ahead for energy, though. Silent Shadow doesn't have as... Okay, 0.9, that's still worth it, but... Looks like Silent Shadow doesn't have as much in the way of energy structures. There's nine Solar Collectors versus... Okay. I should point out it's... That was 13 wind generators. I should point out that it's for cost that they're even or better. You still need to have as you need to have twice as many wind generators as solar collectors to even it out. So in terms of space, the wind generators are less effective, and also in terms of defensiveness, Silent Shadow actually can't get a scythe in here because of these power plants. You can't kill the power plants easily either. So the solar collectors are at least a really nice wall. That is one major advantage of them. Our Silent Shadow is going to be able to just push through directly from the front door. Coming in with an even cost army, the warriors coming in as well, and these warriors are going to be able to deal with the pyros. They are, however, going up the hill, and that's not a bad idea, but they need to actually get in range of the pyros. First warrior is going to be able to deal... Okay, he's going to die before he deals much damage. The other warriors, however, should be able to get rid of the pyros, and... Oh, just... There we go! No, not quite! Defender, however... Okay, defenders will go down. This warrior is doing a great job getting rid of everything. Gets rid of the freaker, gets rid of the defenders, gets rid of... Or not quite ready to get into the Freakers, and that Pyro is going to kill it. It just burns to death at the end. Now, I should point out that Exist has been expanding quite a lot along the west side of the map. He is doing a pretty nice job taking map control, and he has an economic advantage. The west side is his. The east side is becoming his. Silent Shadow is getting more wind generators down, basically to set up an overdrive chain. But he's not quite as powerful in his metal economy. He does need to get more metal extractors. That is important. He has some to the southeast. But that's all he has. However, another scythe has been built, and it is attacking this. Getting this expansion over here. The Freaker has taken a fair amount of damage, and the scythe's going to reclose. No, it's going to get rid of the Lotus first. It's going to be two hits, and that might be two hits too many. Yes, it's going to be two hits too many. These powers are going to be able to catch it. If it cloaks in time, it might have a chance, but that's all it has going for it. It needs... Okay, there we go. It has cloaked. It needs to avoid... It has to avoid the pyros, and the pyros are going to find it. One of them's on a crash course with it. Does find it, and it can't deal with a single pyro in that group. It needed to go around, needed to get that Freaker, and it wasn't able to do so. I don't think Silent Shadow was aware of that. Silent Shadow does not actually have radar. He's going entirely off line of sight. While Exist, on the other hand, is radared up for his half of the map. He does know what's going on. He does see all the units coming in. Exist is actually coming around the back, though. Silent Shadow does not see this coming. Well, he doesn't see it coming early enough. Well, now we'll test the Lotus to see how those work, because those should work out okay, but... One of them does go down, killing two Pyros in the process, though. And the other two Pyros trying to do what they can. These Pyros are going to burn out quite a lot of the Wind Generators. They do go down, but not before a bunch of Wind Generators do. The Mexes don't. Metal Income is still solid for Silent Shadow, and he's actually quite a ways ahead in terms of power anyway. So he's okay. His Overdrive was a little bit broken up. His Grid is not quite as well connected as he liked, but it's not going to be hard to rebuild. At the center of the map, we do have a Pyro versus Warrior fight. The Warriors are falling back. One of them does die to a couple pyros, and this end of the map is becoming very juicy for reclaim. This is where we're going to see a lot of fights going on. Whoever takes this end of the map probably will win this game. If someone manages to take this, it will probably do the game in, because at this point, Exist and Silent Shadow have been neck and neck. Their army advantages, their economy advantages actually, our economy is pretty similar, but their army size by cost has been pretty even this entire game. Now, the main thing is this harassment. Silent Shadow has not been harassing. He's been setting up sites to harass. He really should be setting up glaives for that purpose. And Sniper comes in, gets rid of one of the pyros. Right off the bat, actually. Nice shot there. In fact, it will one-shot pyros. So Sniper, not a terrible idea, but might not be the most cost-effective. It's going to need to kill a fair few pyros. It's going to need to kill about five... No, not five. What am I saying? It's going to need to kill about three pyros in order to be cost-effective. It's killed one. So, there you go. Two more left. It is over going around the back. Going to be able to get rid of this Lotus. Knocks out a Lotus. Opens up a nice defensive, or nice offensive corridor. We'll get rid of the mechs as well. This actually is the first time I've ever seen a sniper used for harassment purposes. 
this doesn't happen. People tend not to use this for harassment. I mean, as you can see, the fire rate is quite low. But yeah, I mean, it's cloaked. It one-shots most basic defenses and metal extractors. It's no good if it's defended against, but hey, right now, no one's actually coming at it. Exist isn't taking care of it. It's going to get rid of another metal extractor. And right now, Silent Shadow does have quite a powerful economy for metal. He does have a bit of reclaim. He hasn't taken the center field. Actually, Exist is taking the center reclaim field. That is going to be a major... Uh, it's going to be a major thing as Exist comes in here with a couple pyros and tears apart this entire southeast base. So Silent Shadow right now, for context, Silent Shadow has a sniper getting rid of Exist's center north base. Getting rid of quite a lot of center metal extractors there. He does have a very powerful overdrive grid in his main base. And that's getting him a lot of economy boost. It's a decent economy boost. It's nearly doubling his metal extractors. And at the same time, he doesn't have a lot of map control. And Exist... Main reason he has the econo the army disadvantage here, 400 metal worth of army disadvantage, is this sniper. But that sniper is doing a great job. It's a sharpshooter, rather. Doing a great job. Everything to the north has been removed. And it looks like Exist is going to try finally to get rid of that, but he has lost quite a lot there. That being said, he has the center field. He has that center reclaim, and that is going to be... That's going to be the difference maker right now. At this point, Silent Shadow has enough warriors to take on all these pyros, though. He's not aware of that. He does not have radar. He's not at all aware of what's going on. So Silent Shadow is considerably more in the dark than Exist is. Exist, however... Actually, neither player has... Okay, Caretaker for Silent Shadow. Silent Shadow actually going for a gunship plant. Going for a full-on factory... Well, addition. Probably not a switch, but definitely an addition factory. Exist, however, is getting up just more and more pyros. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't gone for placeholders. That would be a great thing to do against all these warriors, get a couple placeholders, and then they can't do much. And possibly also puppies or jacks. Actually, jacks would not be a bad idea just to tank all that fire. And the sharpshooter, however, has been spotted getting rid of a warrior, but... Not even a warrior, a freaker. But at that same time, a warrior's coming into the center of the map, and that's going to be... Well, not much they can do. The sharpshooter has gone in hiding again, has cloaked again, and these warriors taking out the center of the map. Sharpshooter is going to go down, though. That sharpshooter dies completely, and the warriors at the center of the map are taking care of all these pyros, pushing through, and right now we still have pretty even and caught, or pretty even military. Silent Shadow is taking that center. He is taking a lot of the reclaim, making more reclaim, too, getting a much larger reclaim field, getting rid of all of Exist's army, that pyro army did not last at all. Good use of warriors. I really think that placeholders... No, I think. I know placeholders. I've seen them work for this before. Placeholders would have been a great idea here. Jax might have been a good idea. And overall, it's just... These warriors just rip apart pyros. They just destroy them. There's not much to be done, especially against that number of warriors. The Silent Shadow looks like he's just going for the kill right now. And that is going to work. Oh, yeah. Sumo being suggested in the chat. That wouldn't be a terrible idea either, just to tank the shots, but that is a really expensive unit. 2,000 metal to get rid of, I mean, against 10 warriors. If you can kill 10 warriors with it, okay, that's worth it for cost. However, right now, I mean, warriors and pyros are actually even for cost, but pyros do not do well against these numbers of warriors. However, the warriors are starting to lose their numbers. That being said, more reinforcements have been constructed, and the pyros are being destroyed at their main base. This pyro goes down. That factory is going to go down soon after. The Warriors are going to be able to get rid of everything here. This factory is no more, or very soon to be no more. Exist Commander is completely out of range. It does have a Particle Beam, but it's not going to be coming in to deal with this in time. The factory goes down. With that, the Warrior goes down as well. Blows up with the factory, but I don't think Exist has much of a chance. Well, okay, okay, never mind. He does have a lot of map control, a lot of defense. But really, just a matter of these Warriors sweeping around the map. Just take on the east side or take on the west side. Either side. Just deal with it. Silent Shadow, once he deals with that, he's got this game in the bag. And that, well, that was definitely an interesting game, given the given the L levels of the players. Brawler's coming in as well, and one actually has been built, so Silent Shadow does have a Brawler just in case, but these Warriors have been doing more than enough for him. Like I said, I do kind of wish that Jumpship Plant was producing more variety of units. It's not a Pyro Factory anymore. I know I've made that slip. I have made that... Oh, Moderators. Yes, actually, Loudy pointing out that Moderators would be a great option too. And yes, they would. They would slow down these guys greatly and also would outrange them by far. That is a very good point. Because, as I was saying, it's no longer the Pyro Factory. There's a lot of good units in it. The Placeholders, the Moderators have been buffed massively. Jumpjet Factory has a lot of options available to it. And Exist was just using the Pyro and forgetting that... There's more than that nowadays. However, the main base being attacked, not sure this is the most profitable option. 
exists, does have most of his power folks in his main base, but he has a lot of economy and metal folks around the sides. However, doesn't matter though, exist throwing in the towel, that is game and that was definitely interesting. So well done, Silent Shadow, for winning that game. Though admittedly, moderators, moderators exist. Next time you encounter that, moderators are the option. And then possibly sumo later on, but moderators are the first thing to go for. Placeholders are also good, but placeholders with placeholder moderator pyro combo would be awesome. That would have done a wonderful job there. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back with another game in just a couple minutes. So stay tuned.